A wave of small business closures has swept through LeConnor, some closing after decades in business. For those still hanging on, the attitude is one of resilience. I just feel like the streets are rolled up and the tumbleweeds are coming in. After three years of hard work, Rebecca Strong's Lux Arts Center was just starting to take off. Then came coronavirus and the realization she'd have to shut down permanently, a decision she's still trying to come to grips with. So yeah, um, this was a dream of mine. Um, I have other dreams, so I'm good. But this was, and now that you asked that question, it just hit me again. <laughs> Since coronavirus hit, LaConnor has lost at least nine small businesses. That's about 10% of the town's total. The cancellation of the Skagit Valley Tulip Festival was a major factor, considering the event brings in as much money in the month of April as many businesses will make the rest of the year. The ongoing border closure with Canada is also taking a heavy toll. Canadian shoppers kept LaConnor alive during the Great Recession, but are nowhere to be seen now. We're one of the greatest impacted from a business standpoint in the state, I would have to say. LeConnor Mayor Ramon Hayes says while it's too late for some, shoppers are slowly showing up on the sidewalks again and resilience will reap its rewards. How does a small town like this recover from something so massive? Yeah, well, the main thing is stay open, right? So everybody needs to be as responsible as they can. Where we can, we be advertising the town through, uh, you know, our Facebook pages, our websites, increasing our online presence. That's how we uh, uh, rebound. As for Rebecca Strong, her dream is on hold for now, but she believes in this town. I'm optimistic it comes back because it's beautiful. It's a gem in the Skagit Valley. On a positive note, some businesses have actually been able to expand during the pandemic, bolstering the hope that once this is all over, some may come back stronger than ever. In LaConnor, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.